Today's video is being sponsored by Indium91.com. Be sure to visit the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video. Now I know I have not made a video on this subject in quite a while, but that's because you guys ain't really been giving me too many ideas. So I've just been working on the low off camera instead of having to spend time editing and things like that. Real quick though, I wanted to drop this video for you guys, showing you guys some embroidery machines and the machines that I recommend for you guys. I have done quite a bit of research and found you some really, really, really good deals. So before I even get started on this, I mean the holidays are coming up. If you're watching this after the holidays, I'm pretty sure the deals are still amazing. The links are going to be in the description and for everything that you need to use uh, to start like doing embroidery, making patches, stitching stuff in beanies, stitching, stitching things on like t-shirts, hats, different stuff like that. Um, I have set up my website uh, with the link for all the products you can get. I mean, amazing prices, everything like that. So the first two machines I'm going to talk about are the ones that I have right here in front of me. Then I'm going to show you um, and discuss with you some other machines that some are more expensive than these two. Some of them even have better deals than the ones I, I have right here. So uh, first things first, if you guys have not seen the previous videos I made on both of these machines, actually I have like... I don't know, a handful of videos. Hit the card that pops up and go take a look at that. This first one right here is the PE770 machine. This one actually does uh, embroidery only, but it does it very fast. Um, and it's a, you can do it like on a, a large... Um, a large thing right here. I don't feel like taking it out right now. If you guys want to see the whole like specific review for this, go ahead and check a look at this. This again is the Brother PE770 machine. Um, it can stitch uh, designs up to a 5x7. I mostly stick to smaller designs such as this design right here on the beanie. Um, it's just what I prefer. But if you guys want to stitch on you know some one D onesies and things like that, definitely I would recommend the PE770 machine. Again, is it it is only a, an embroidery machine. Only downside for me. I don't like it is because, uh, or I ain't gonna say I don't like it, but I love it actually. But the reason, uh, only downside I have about this machine is the LED where you can actually see your designs is actually in black and white. So, I mean, who, who wouldn't prefer to have some color there? That's way better, right? Um, onto this machine right here. This one right here, love this machine, absolutely love this machine right here. This is the Brother SE625, which is the same thing as the uh, Brother SE600. Again, I explained it in my previous video. The only difference between the SE625 right here and the SE600, which again is gonna be in the listed uh, below, is that this one actually came with a disc with a whole bunch of pre-made designs. So if you plan on, you know, stitching some flowers and stuff like that, maybe you might want to see if you can get your hands on this. But for the price difference, I mean, all you're missing is the disc. I would definitely go with the one in the description. It is a lot cheaper than this one right here. Again, I do love this one right here. This is the Brother SE625, mainly because um, it is not only an embroidery machine, but it is also a sewing machine and the display on it is actually in color. I mean, who wouldn't want a color display, right? Now that I've showed you guys a little bit about the two machines that I do have, um, still have, I'm also going to discuss one that I have had previously and no longer have anymore. But it might be in your guys' budget, so I'll explain to you guys what that one is anyways. So one of the other machines that I had was actually the Brother SE400. That was the first time I ever um, just thought about doing embroidery, things like that. It is also a sewing machine. It is an embroidery machine. It only does files. Uh, I won't even say only because 4x4 is large enough. This right here is about like 25 by 2 something like that. And this, is, this works perfect for me for the type of designs that I do. I like to just put stuff on beanies, hats. Uh, on the side for like a t-shirt things like that my bad I could have wore you know some of the more clothes that I've been wearing designing stuff with um, but this is kind of like a last minute video anyways the brother se 400 only downside for that machine um, is that one whereas these ones I don't even know if I have a USB in it this one you probably can see it right here this one accepts a USB on the side of it same thing as this so I can actually download images create my files and things like that Throw them, throw them in the machines wherever I have them set up at, and boom, project is done in minutes, or depending on the type of project you have. Usually, my designs that get done some five minutes, some one minute when I made the little Nike design. Um, I didn't copyright it, you know, I didn't sell it or nothing for those who might say something. But if you want to see that video, hit the card that pops up. Um, and I do have some larger designs um, that actually took me maybe about 40 minutes or so. And then 40 minutes with me cutting the thread, you know, changing the stuff, doing different things like that. 40 minutes to complete a patch on certain designs, other ones in a jiffy, guys. Um, I'm almost getting off track, though. What I was getting ready to say about the Brother SE 620 or Brother SE 400, my bad, um, that I do not like compared to these machines. Again, that one is very well priced, but 
that one requires it to be plugged directly in a computer um, in order to transfer files there's like a usb thing on the side but that has to be connected to the machine the other end has to be connected to a computer um, in order to transfer your files once the files are transferred they will stay in the machine the screen is also not a color display on the se 400 so that's why i decided to upgrade to again the se 625 slash 600 and then later i went ahead and upgraded to the brother pe 770 now two more machines that are very 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 similar matter of fact you might as well say the exact same not necessarily the exact same but you do get a lot a lot a lot of bang for your buck guys these two machines i'm gonna get to them right now so this machine right here is the brother pe 800 and guys let me tell you if i would have found out about that one matter of fact by the time i bought this one that one was not even out but this is a newer machine if i were you guys and you have not purchased the brother pe 770 i would definitely go with the brother pe 800 now it does qu cost quite a bit more but for me it's actually still in my budget now some uh, sewing machines embroidery machines can cost i'd say at the lowest 200 dollars you know this one is probably i'll say five six hundred dollars something like that you know i might catch them on sale again links in the description the uh, brother pe 800 Mm, maybe about seven hundred dollars or so if you catch it on you know seven hundred dollars six six fifty seven hundred dollars or something like that so it's not too much more than actually what this machine is right here and then when i when i informed you guys that these machines are pretty much the same it is the same it's the exact same machine the the color of the little thing right here is just a little bit different color um, but the machine does the exact same thing stitches at the same speed stitches at the same size but the downside again i told you guys about this machine that one has fixed it so the other one has a color display so again it's only an embroidery machine stitches five by sevens and you know anything smaller than a five by seven of course and it has a color display on it so the brother pe 800 is a great 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 holiday deal if you guys are interested if you guys are looking for embroidery machines i would definitely recommend that one that's actually the best one on the list um not to downplay this next one i'm gonna say the next one i have to say is exactly like this one right it here. looks exactly the same same size four by four stitches uh of embroidery it is uh this is a sewing slash embroidery machine it does have a color display stitches pretty quick not as fast as this one but it don't take all day to do this but the brother pe 535 guys exact same thing just doesn't have the sewing machine part so if you guys are not into sewing i mean if you guys are just trying to you know do some like embroidery designs like this patches again hat designs t-shirt um chest designs things like that definitely i would recommend the brother pe 535 it is actually cheaper than this right here um because again it doesn't have the sewing feature and honestly I don't do too much sewing myself so if i were you guys i mean it's too late for me now because i already got machines um it would be kind of a waste of money if i actually you know go out and buy two three more machines um when they are better than these ones right here uh these actually get me by again the brother pe 800 is the next level from this with a color display the pe 535 is the next downgrade kind of from this but if all you're interested in guys is embroidery definitely go ahead and pick it up again if you guys have any questions or anything for me when it comes to sewing and embroidery let me know man i got i'm actually going to use your guys as uh uh you know advice let me know maybe what design do you have in mind that you would like for me to stitch into a shirt i see you guys asking me um can these machines actually stitch directly onto a t-shirt directly onto a beanie directly onto this and that or a hoodie and stuff like that the answer is yes have i tried it not really i have not tried it but i know it can be done because i have actually done my research and i go out and i see people using these machines that's actually what made me get into it i see people using the machines it definitely can be done um i just don't know what design to actually put on a t-shirt so maybe we can do it like this so let me know what design you guys will see you let me know what design you guys would like to see i'll actually make a video of me turning that image that picture that whatever into an embroidery ready file load it up into the machines i'll actually load a t-shirt up into the machine or a bandana or whatever you guys want to see me um stitch this stuff on throw it in these machines right here of your choice again let me know which one you guys want to want me to demonstrate that on and i'll definitely make it happen for you guys again hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you have not seen my other embroidery videos make sure you hit the card that pops up and if you guys found this video helpful hit that thumbs up button and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace